Receiving the Overflow. I'm Pastor Arlen. Today is January the 31st. Thanks for joining me. So I want to give you a scripture today. It's found in Psalm 66 verse 12. It says, We went through the fire and the water, but you brought us to a, a place of abundance. Hallelujah. Well, aren't you glad that whatever you've been, been through, whatever trials, whatever situations, that God has a plan to bring you to a place of abundance. No matter what the circumstances look like, even today, God has a plan to bring you through to a place of abundance. He wants you to have an abundance of peace, an abundance of joy, an abundance of resources. That means more than enough because He is God, the God of more than enough. He wants you to overflow with His blessings so that you can be a blessing to the people all around you. This one thing that I've learned is that if you want to live in the overflow of God's blessings, you have to have an attitude to receive the overflow. Remember, as a believer of Jesus, you are a child of the Most High God. And you have His royal blood flowing right through your veins. And you were not created just to be average. You were created, we're not created to barely just get by and drag through in life. But no. See, you have seeds of greatness on the inside, and you will, uh, you are well able to do whatever to do what God has called you to do. So I want to I want you to take courage today. Put your shoulders back, hold your heads up on high, and act like that you have already won the victory, and act like that you are following the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one who's went through before you and has already made the way. I like the, uh, you know, the, the footsteps in the sand thing that, you know, that the footsteps, you're following those footsteps, and the Lord is went out in front of you. I, I want you to stay in faith and st stay ex uh, expecting because it's just uh, a matter of time. You will see all those things uh, those abundance that god has laid out before you that that place of overflow you'll see that don't get allow yourself to get discouraged and don't allow discouraging words to come out of your mouth and when a thought of that discourages you comes in your mind you rise up and you say i rebuke that thought because i know that god has brought me through the fire and through the water <clears throat> But he brought me into a place of abundance. And thank you, Lord, for that. I want to say a prayer for you. Father, today I, I, we open our minds and our hearts to you. Father, we choose to believe that you have good things planned for us today and for our future. And by faith today, we receive the blessings you already have for us so that we can be a blessing to others. And Father, we receive all the overflow. Father, we receive overflow of joy and over uh, joy of peace. And we, we receive all that. And thank you, Lord, for leading us into that place of abundance. In Jesus' name, amen. That's my scripture for you today. And I pray your day is filled with heaven's blessings and its overflow. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I will see you next time. God bless.